Today, I'm heading down the Gold Coast and I am going to a Tourette Syndrome meetup. So once every couple of months, families who have Tourette Syndrome and young Australians, teenagers all get together and just hang out. And it's really cool because we just kind of, we, nothing happens, we just hang out and be together, share our struggles, share our strengths, have a laugh. Both Tourette Syndrome can be hilarious, but at the same time, it can be really, really horrible. And I want to be able to reveal some of those individual stories to you today. And I'm going to have a chat to some of the teenagers who have Tourette's and hear their story, hopefully to get across the truth of Tourette's, of people living with Tourette Syndrome and what they go through on a daily basis. Language warning. So if you're watching this, I'm not going to beep out the swear words because I want it to be as authentic and as real as possible. There will be coarse language. So if you don't like swear words, do not watch. <laughs> there will be some swear words in this video. So here's Trix, 11 years old. Say hello to everyone. Hello. You're, now, Trix, you are the most non-shy person ever. And you're getting shy right now? Yes. Why? I'm socially awkward. What I, what I really want to know, talking to you, because you're 11, how old were you when you had Tourette's? Uh, well, I was diagnosed in grade one. Yeah. I was born with it, obviously. So. Mm -hmm. like... Do you like having Tourette's? Is it a thing to really like? That's a good question. Well, what do you think? Uh, well, it's annoying at times, but you'll get used to it. You come to accept it. It just becomes a daily part of your life. And this is Mum Mandy. Hello, Mum. Hi. This is the president of Tourette Syndrome Association Australia. Come on over, Trix. Oh, that's a that's a brand new tick we've just discovered, isn't it? On Trix. Spitting. That's a brand new yeah. one. So you have three children with I Tourette's. Do. I do. How's that life? Um, hectic. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> And Trix was the first one? Trix was the first one to be diagnosed. Yeah. yeah. And, Man, um, I'm going to fucking punch then, you in the vagina. And then the older one. Um, <laughs> Life at home with three kids yes. with Tourette's. A postcard is... That would have been really stressful. You have to cut that bit it, out. It, it can be at times. You have to cut that it bit out. You have stressful. to cut that bit out. It, um, it can be stressful at times. Um, sometimes it's funny. Sometimes yeah. it is a bit... And yeah. that's, and it, I know. I know. Fuck I'm, you, bitch. <laughs> this, is, this is like 24-7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and... Uh, uh, it can be 24-7. Yeah. It's not always 24-7. Um, sometimes... You've got spit on your chest, Amanda. Yeah. Um, sometimes it's... Um, it's We have waxes and waning, I guess, yeah. with the track. Waxes so and waning. Sometimes and it's more ticky than others. At home, at home, I've what, what being around your siblings, that has, has Tourette's almost brought you guys closer to a degree? What do you think? No. No? no they, it's pushed us further away. They feel, <laughs> so, they, they feel safer in their own room. Yeah. Hang on. They feel. Does that hurt? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you? No. Okay. No. Okay. Love you. Um. We'll just give it. Right. Thank you. Tricks. Yes. Watching to people now. If you were to explain people who don't know Tourette's or what it's like to have Tourette's, what would you say? Tourette's is a neurological disorder that forces us to do involuntary movements and say things we don't mean at all. We don't mean any of it. It's just, we're kind of forced. It's like an itch and you're told not to scratch the itch. And it gets worse over time until you finally scratch it. That's like a tip. Anyone watching this who, who doesn't know how to behave around other people who have Tourette's or when they meet someone for the first time who has Tourette's and they don't know what to expect, how would you tell people to behave with people who have Tourette's? Well, for me, everyone just honestly just ignores it because we should, because it's supposed to, it's kind of disruptive in class, so everyone just ignores it. Um, unless someone actually really needs help, then you can just kind of just ignore it. I would say, actually, is, you know, with the physical tics that you've yeah. seen, and, the you know, I've said about tricks getting... A, um, <laughs> I can feel that bite. <laughs> attacked by... Oh! Being attacked by... But it usually generally only happens with people that you love and care about. So it's yes. not necessarily something that other people need to be concerned about. It's more that, um, that the people that you love and care about are the people that get the most abuse. They're gonna, they're gonna um, be the they're ones that So, um, but I would say if somebody has got a very physical tick, yes. one of the best things for you to be doing, seriously, no, 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 just let go, please. Oh, that. That nearly broke the skin. Yeah, can you move away? painful. Now? Um, I need you to move back, I'm a vampire. So, I and one of the blood. things is you can do is if somebody is making you feel uncomfortable yes. because they're quite aggressively ticking, 
um, is to distance yourself from them if you can. And Obviously, in this situation, bonk. being and yeah. interviewing, yes. um, it's it's more difficult. <laughs> Whereas normally, if Trix was trying to bite bonk. me, yes. I might try and actually move away. Yeah. Distance okay, sometimes if somebody's down, really ticky. Um, it's so, better for the person that's ticking for you to be a little bit further away from them because they're not feeling the impulse to want to actually touch you, punch you, kick you, bite Mommy, you. I want to boop you. Yeah. Mommy, yeah. I want to so distance and ignoring. Distance and ignoring. Yeah. Yeah. So give them a little bit of space. Give a... So Katrina and Sophie. Katrina, this is Katrina. I'm and a I'm, slut. You're, I've got a. Now got you've only recently been diagnosed with Tourette's, isn't yeah, that right? Um, in 2020. And 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 what happened? I, uh ah, uh, uh, mine was from medical malpractice types. Duff. Yeah. Very. Oh, they just took uh, Sophie off her took me pain meds mm -hmm. and just cold turkey, and she left Liv, go kill the yourself. hospital punching herself in the face. Mm -hmm. And I was like tits, freaking out. Tits, she gave tits. herself two black eyes, nearly broke her nose. You um, know I'm a slut, right? And then, and then yeah. we drove ah. past a, a a police car that was in the driveway I of a I house down the, the road from us. And the popo, Sophie, the police, the police. Sophie turned around while she's punching herself and I goes, kept "Fuck you, fuck the police." Says, oink pig bacon. Oink pig bacon. And then I, I was like, "What with... the hell? Yeah, is going on?" I thought she'd lost her mind. Sorry. I was actually really, really frightened. Yeah, I never used to have ticks. Didn't like swearing. Never ah, had any but ticks before. I'm now that. a faggot. No, that's not it. So not we all. went through a real period of. Can um, I? Can I touch you? It's almost like a period of grief because you're you recognising that this could be permanent. Have yeah. to mourn now, the death obviously, we've before. found out it is with the diagnosis. But um, can I lick it? I everything like you bones. you think is going to happen for that child, or you you know, as they grow older, and you all of a sudden think, wow, no, we have to now reassess everything. Yeah. To the point that Sophie can't necessarily drive at the moment because she has the urges. And my ticks urge to just she drive off to the road. Pull the handbrake on. Yeah. Or change, gears. or change gears, or Pulse yesterday, the horn. yesterday she kept flicking my blinker on and off. Oh yeah, that was so annoying. Just kept flicking it on and off, and then hi babe. It's not all fun and games. No. Oh, then she so says some really, really funny things. Yes. I like killing cats because it's funny. Yeah. Skin them. Skin get... the cat. So tell me, because you're only relatively new to yeah. having Tourette's. Yeah. Very new to it. Do you like it? No, not at all. Ah, uh, it can be funny at ah uh, times, but. Like when you get ticks like this, not fun at all. When you punch yourself, stab yourself. Ah, uh, yeah, trying to do just simple things like cooking. Can, ah, ah, is impossible because I stab myself. Um, throw eggs. That is not fun having to clean that <laughs> yeah. up. The entire egg carton. Egg it turns into confetti and she just goes confetti it. in the whole egg carton. <laughs> it's quite funny, but also eggs. not fun when you're trying to cook. Because yeah, unlike the TikTok. Someone yeah. has to clean up. Are you at school? Um, no. I'm, I'm, I'm doing TAFE, but that's a bit difficult. She wasn't even allowed in the TAFE Because I've got the text typing ticks, the um, copra, copragraphia, which is the texting. Uh, inappropriate texting. My ticks keep texting in the air. She keeps wanting to send sexual and uh, sexual really and inappropriate, inappropriate messages. Like, like go racist kill yourself, slit your throat. Uh, you're a slut. But she does you know. Um, I don't want to, but my ticks just send it. But she's not allowed in the classroom, which is discriminatory. But And the TAFE, this, we've now gone into a new TAFE. Of course, yeah, so going to start but it's... in July, and they're actually letting her go into the classroom. But we'll see how that goes. But... And so, what about your family uh, and your friends after being diagnosed and after developing Tourette's? How have uh, they taken it? Ah, uh, uh, family's been good. Friends, uh, a bit harder. Uh, they no, were a bit completely. They, they kind of just left, and I just made new friends like the TSA and stuff. With the uh, all the other. Tourette's and she's people. made a lot of friends through. Sorry. Um, oh, sorry. Through the Facebook group, Through the Facebook Tourette's. Um, so. With Tourette's ah! and just the meetups and... What would you say to people watching now ah! who haven't met someone with Tourette's? How, ah! do you think, how do you think they should, I guess, behave or treat ah! Tourette's when they're meeting someone socially? Ah, just um, ask them how they um, want you to be treated. Because some people don't mind laughing, at, um, joking around oh, with we the laugh tics. so much. But then some people but... get really offended with being laughed at. I, for me personally, being, I, la I laugh a lot at it. It's not about laughing at something. It's about laughing That's at a what's bird. said. And, but doing it in a way that is Resp um, respectful to the person. So for Sophie, if she's punching herself, you don't laugh at that. But if or I'm if saying she, duck, duck, goose. Or if she says dick, dick, dick goose. goose. 
it's pretty funny. Or yeah, you can't not laugh. Yeah, at no, that. Addicted, addicted goosebumps. No. Fine. That's, it's so funny. There's a person behind me. It's an Asian. Oh no. <laughs> oh, so, do not mean that. No. Ah, because I'm a racist, aren't I? Yeah. Oh, totally not. Totally. So there's a lot of racist things that do come out, and we tend to be more apologetic to people around, and so sometimes the N-word comes out, and that is very inappropriate. Really bad. But it actually, Sophie has said it to a whole group of young Indigenous girls who were horrified at first and then, then realised there's no trips. way she would have said that if there was something not quite right. Once and they so then she trip. became really popular with them. And oh, they stop all, like, running away! They all love her. It's really amazing. Yeah. And, and not just that group of girls, but then all their friends. Show yourself, Seamus. Show yourself, Seamus. Seamus, yeah. show yourself. Um, introduce yourselves. <laughs> you don't you don't okay. I'm Jess, I'm 16 and I have Tourette's. I am Liv, I am 20 and I also have Tourette's. <laughs> and so what, what's life like living with Tourette's? How can you put that into a simple answer? It's really, really, really calm. <laughs> loud. Um, disruptive. Exhausting. Very exhausting. Yes. You're constantly tired. Uh, makes you more out there, makes you more brave and confident. <laughs> yeah. Because you really have no choice but to be more confident. Literally. Because yeah. you constantly have to tell people about what you're dealing with. Yeah. Obviously Tourette's um, affects the like aggressive part of your brain. And it, that's I'm why aggressive. It, yeah. Um, that's why there's a lot of um, swearing involved. So it's more just like... Yeah, it, it feels the don't same as any... Don't be aggressive, any... don't be aggressive. <laughs> it feels the same as like any other tick, I guess, but it's yeah. just, um, you know, a word or a swear word. And so is it that element of my, your brain going, I shouldn't say this because it's inappropriate, and yeah. so you yeah. fire it out? Yeah. The it's... worst ones are any kind of like race-based yeah. or, or like anything discriminatory. Yeah, or anything about worst. like looks or like anything yeah. different about you. Like It's like Tourette's is always just like the worst possible thing that you can say that's just at the back of your head. It just, it just brings out. it out to the front. It's the worst it's thing horrible. in any situation. What would you say to people who don't know or have never met anyone with Tourette's and I they're meeting someone? I would say duck. Ducky fuzz. <laughs> does he fuck? <laughs> fuck he does! <laughs> No. That was amazing. That was beautiful. That was, a, that was harmony, <laughs> harmonious, <laughs> coprolalia. But when you when someone meets someone with Tourette's, what do you want to tell them? How do you want to be treated when someone meets you? Just like everybody else. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't mind if you laugh at my tics if they're funny, but just like roll on with the conversation. Yeah. Wake and bake, motherfucker. <laughs> Marijuana. So with coprolalia, obviously profanity, verbal tics. Mm -hmm spitting out yeah um when people think that that's what you actually mean what do you say to them about that look sometimes it can appear to be like super truthful especially if you're in a situation where it's like really targeted there'll be times where you'll see someone who's i don't know someone who's pregnant and we've got loads of like abortion related texts and it's just like i don't mean it like even though it comes out of my mouth, it's not something that I think. Yeah. And often it's the complete opposite of what you'd want to say. Like rather than congratulations, it's just like have an abortion or I'll get the coat hanger and shit like that. Yeah. And it's just so awkward. But it's so hard to explain to people not to take offense to it because it's not like it's coming from truth. It's just completely random. Yeah. A lot of people think that ticks are in your vocabulary and you have to say that a lot for it to be a tick. Mm -hmm. And it's in any situation I can say absolutely anything and it's always the worst thing in the back of my head, the most inappropriate thing that the always comes out. The one thing you out. don't want to say. The one thing that you don't want to say that you've probably never said before will come out. And yeah. it's just hard explaining that to people when they're obviously going to be offended and it's really hard on us as well because we obviously feel really guilty. But yeah. I think it's the most important thing is to just be understanding and know that it's not personal it's just a take and nothing more yeah I felt it was really important to make this video because I wanted to highlight what teenagers with Tourette's go through on a daily basis. I feel it's really important for the awareness side of things, being an ambassador for Tourette's Syndrome Association Australia, is to get awareness out there to highlight what our Australian teenagers experience who have Tourette's. I really wanted to help the lives of the teenagers you just met to make their day-to-day -day a little easier by bringing some awareness to people watching now. The big message I want to get across in this video is that is the reality of those teenagers. The things that they are saying 
is not what they mean. It's not what they are actually thinking. It's not their political views. It's not their intention. It's a tick. It comes out. And it can be so hard for them, as you've seen in this video, that they're actually really caring, culturally sensitive, and very politically correct. But their ticks are saying otherwise. Some of these kids face really difficult situations like being arrested, being arrested by police because of their ticks and some of the things that they say in public. That sucks, man. A lot of teachers don't know how to teach students like that that you've seen in this video. A lot of paramedics don't know how to treat a tick attack. Tourette's isn't going away. So if you like this video, give me a like, give me a subscribe, uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your opinion on the video that you've just watched. And if you didn't like it, if you were offended, well, I'm surprised you got this far. You're pretty easily offended by some teenagers with Tourette's. <laughs>